This morning on today's Consumer, the next great product. Have you dreamed of coming up with an invention that could bring you fame and fortune? Consumer correspondent and Reader's Digest contributor Janice Lieberman found a way to let your voice be heard. Hey, Janice. Oh, incredible story. It was open call for inventor wannabes in Los Angeles recently. The king of infomercials, A.J. Kubani, offered everyday folks a chance to possibly become a millionaire. Is that Kwabana Slaughter? It's like American Idol for inventors. My first reaction is something kind of obscene about it. It's very easy to adjust. Right. That's a sound proposition. You stop. Your dog stops. The umbrella with a shower curtain. <laughs> In the role of Simon Cowell, A.J. Kubani, the infomercial king and head of Telebrands. He's the guy who brought the as-seen-on-TV products to retail. Uh-oh, are those pants getting too tight to close? Call now and you'll also receive petty paws. <laughs> But wait, there's more. He's taken their inventor's day on the road, looking for the next biggest invention and the promise of making that inventor a millionaire. What are you ladies selling? The snazzy sun club. What are you wearing? I'm wearing the travel cozy. Each entrepreneur has just five minutes to make their pitch to AJ and a panel of four judges. Only 10% of the hundreds of products he sees will be test marketed and only 1% will make it. I think I have a good head to you know, keep on looking at stuff and, and weed out very quickly the good stuff in the bag. Anyone can put this on? Some inventions made sense. What do you ladies have here? We have a cordless heating turbine. Oh, delicious. <laughs> nice and toasty. Then let's see, ladies. We'll check back with you afterwards. You need this, don't you? Yeah. 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 Well, some inventors seem to be as funny as their inventions. The toilet shouldn't be that much work. You basically just want to pick up your toilet brush and squeeze it. Okay, Don, I'm sorry we need to move on. What? You have a lot of ideas, girlfriend. Yeah, you bet. That's why I'm the idea girl. And sometimes you never know what to expect. We met Joseph Berto, a laid-off helicopter pilot, with his horse pooper scooper that he intends to make into a mini version for cat poo. What is a shaking fork, Mr. Farmer? Oh, gosh, if you have horses or cats, you're going to have to take care of their business the next morning. And so if you can imagine if this were used in a kitty litter box, you would simply scoop up the kitty litter, squeeze the button, and magically the, the uh, business business will be separated. Yeah, the action that automatically moves the poop from the front to the back. Just figure out the optimal speed. That's right. And that's what we'll make. Absolutely. I like it very much, and I think it'll demonstrate phenomenal on television. I think they loved it. I think they did, too. The make or break point was when I put it into AJ's hands, it worked for him just the way as it would for all of the uh, grandmas with their little fluffies that they want to take care of. Hope you make a lot of money. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. The next Inventors Day will be held on March 31st in Fairfield, New Jersey, and Lester is also doing a Kids Inventor Day in May, and that should be adorable. All I'm thinking is that guy must have an enormous cat. <laughs> the size of it. All right. Anyway. Oh, but he'd probably make a smaller one. Well, that's the point. He said, go home and bring me the other one, the good prototype, yeah, which is know, a good point. You know, a lot of us have had these ideas go through our mind of a great invention. How do you know if you've actually glommed on to the next, next big thing? All right, first of all, you have to do a little research. You need to Google it, find out if anybody else has done it, because you don't want to go out there and present something that you already have on the market. And then you want a common solution to an everyday problem, is what A.J. Kubani says. And that's what he's looking for in a low-priced pro item. Yeah. And the next step is to come up with a prototype. Like, this is the big pooper scooper. He's got to come up with the smaller one to present. You need a working model. You don't need to spend a lot of money on it because they're going to make it cheaper in China or somewhere. So what you need to do is come in with something that works and have a clear and concise way of explaining what it is. You know, like the idea lady. <laughs> <laughs> Janice Lieberman, nice to have you. Still to come, America Ferrara tries to tame the star.